when the transphobia just comes out the audacity and just the 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 arrogance for cis women to believe that they own periods that they own womanhood you don't okay you don't own periods you don't own womanhood you experience both and both are different for every person but as a cis woman it doesn't belong to you so you can't gatekeep it like hello how very manly of you that right there very masculine men behave like this i want you to see something really cute uh bear with me as i pull this up thing because people will take a 30 second clip of what i this person that you see there without the wig and the makeup what is it that you see right there <laughs> you know it's like it's very interesting this is the person from that video this is the follow-up that this person issued this is a mockery right here i don't understand look you mean and just completely run with it right imagine thinking critically about a situation and actually actually thinking about it because like, everything is nuanced nothing is just white or black like, it, reality is you don't have to agree with me, but I said what I said and I stand by that. Cis women don't own womanhood. Cis men don't own periods because you can't create like a one size fit all for womanhood and cishood and expect people to go with it. It doesn't work like that. Everyone thinks it's uh, thinks thinks about it differently. Right. Everybody has their own idea of what it means to be a woman, what it means to be a man, because some women think you have to be a mother. All right, you have to have children. You have to have a uterus. And others say, no, I don't have to do any of that shit. Don't want any of that shit. I'm a woman because I say I'm a woman because of my experiences, because of how I feel internally, because of my spirit. Okay, so this is why having a one size fit all for womanhood or. Let me pull out the board for you. Why do women have a period, right? People are saying that, that we can't define womanhood. No, we, we don't need to define womanhood. Science already defined it. According to science, how do you tell the difference between the male and female of any species? The female is the one with the larger, fewer sex cells. The male is the one, so here, this is female of any species. The male of any species has the more abundant, smaller sex cell. The difference between the finite number of eggs that a womb holder is born with, a keeper of the womb is born with a finite number of eggs versus the millions of spermatozoa that the male of the human species. What is a woman? A woman is an adult human female. What is a man? A man is an adult human male. That is the definition. And you see, part of the problem is that people decided a few years ago that they were going to create a new definition for what woman is and what man is. Why do women get their period? Is there anybody who, I mean, should, I'm sure there's some science people in here, right? What is this a drawing of right here? <laughs> that is my depiction of a uterus. Right? Every 28 days during the time of a woman's life when she is fertile, starting for some around the age of 12, there are hormones that are secreted in the body to let the egg know that it needs to travel down the fallopian tubes. And then as the days are building up, there's a uterine layer. Let me pull my red pen out for the uterine layer, right? Because it's like some people didn't discuss this in biology. So the uterine layer builds up. And what happens if that egg travels through the fallopian tube and it is not fertilized? If that egg is not fertilized, it'll continue to travel, travel, travel. This is called ovulation, when the egg is traveling through the fallopian tube. If the egg is not fertilized, what happens to this uterine layer? The uterine layer breaks down and then the female begins to menstruate. Straight. This is not a matter of imagination. This is not a matter of perception. This is a matter of science. Do all women menstruate? No, but if a woman is not menstruating, there is something biologically, physiologically wrong with her. There's something that is wrong because it is a natural product of being a keeper of the womb that menstruation occurs. 
do all women get pregnant? No, all women can't get pregnant. However, women are born as girls. What's a girl? A girl is a human child that is female. That's a girl. A boy is a human child that is male. That's what these are. Where is the scientific evidence that anybody has cross gender? They did some studies on the brain in which some people falsely reported that the trans brain is different and that study was debunked. Please look it up. There is no scientific evidence. There is no test that anybody can do or give for a person to prove that they're trans. And I'm going to tell you why that's problematic in just a moment. So this isn't a, a matter of opinion. This is fact right here. Women do own periods. I, I don't even understand why I had to pull out a board for this. Be a part of the live show with thousands of other viewers. Go to tanyatko.com forward slash text and join the text notification squad and get a text whenever I go live. Support the show and yourself and I'll see you on the next live broadcast.